Hey fellow traders, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'll be talking about the Forex master pattern. Okay, how institutional players are actually manipulating the support and resistance level to trick you, right? To, to have your stops being placed below the level and only to take you out before actually, you know, going in the direction that you predicted. Okay, so this concept is also known as uh, what I call the whipsaw Wednesday. Okay, uh, in this video, I'll show you how the institutional players do it. Okay, but more importantly, I will also show you when they do it. Okay, this is important. Okay, this is not the first video that I'm creating about uh, this pattern, but uh, this is the first video where I reveal to you uh, when this exactly happens. Okay, there are a lot of people who have you know, videos about this concept, about uh, how the institutional players are you know, causing you to lose money first before uh, pushing price in your direction. Okay, but uh, very few of them can actually tell you when does this actually happen. Okay, we've been observing this, you know, this pattern every single week. Okay, I'm not saying that it happens every single week, but I'm saying that this is a very high probability uh, setup. Okay, it's a very high probability thing that always happens uh, week in and week out. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the essence of the pattern first and you know, help you to understand uh, what the institu institutional players are actually doing first um, before showing you some examples. Okay, uh, now just a word of uh, caution that uh, it doesn't always happen exactly the same every single week, but um, the essence of uh, what I'm sharing with you uh, is kind of... Uh, it kind of happens uh, quite often. And if you just understand this concept and just trade uh, this one concept uh, every single week, uh, you should be able to make quite good profits. Okay, so I'll show you that and also give you some advice on how to avoid it as well as how to trade it. Okay, sounds good. Okay, let's go into uh, today's video. Okay, so you can see over here that uh, I, I drew this out. Okay, I drew this pattern out. So this is what I call the Forex Master Pattern, or rather you also known as the Whipsaw Wednesday uh, Trade. Okay, so what happens is that uh, you have an uptrend, okay, and price does a retracement down. Okay, so uh, after retracement, it finds some form of support and it starts, uh, you know, its second leg. So what happens is that a lot of traders, they say, oh, um, you know, uh, price is going up, this support is holding, okay? Uh, what I like to call the term a fake support, okay? Because it's not the real support uh, before price uh, starts rallying, okay? So what a lot of uh, new traders do is that, uh, you know, they, they see this and uh, because they miss this up movement, right? They uh, say, oh, okay, so um, I want to get into the trend, right? A lot of, uh, you know, people on YouTube, a lot of other gurus say that I should always be trading with the trend. So what they do is uh, they buy over here, which is honestly not wrong, okay? I can understand it. Sometimes we also make the same mistake. So you buy it, okay? You buy something like this, okay? Uh, you do something like this, you know, uh, you put your stop loss below the uh, low and uh, you're just wait, waiting to uh, capture the big move up because uh, you're trying to trade a trend continuation, right? It seems, you know, it seems, it seems easy, okay? Except that uh, what happens is that uh, the euro session starts trading and instead of price rallying higher, what happens is that price starts selling down. Okay, it starts selling down and it takes, it takes out your stop loss. Okay, because remember, a lot of people, um, you know, they, they put their stop loss below the recent low. Okay, this is roughly the, the way they trade. Okay, uh, if you read a lot of trading books, they always say, you know, uh, put your stop loss below the recent swing low. Okay, and that's pretty normal. Okay, that's, that's pretty normal. Sometimes we do this too. Okay, but what happens during the euro session is that price sells down. Okay, so what happens is that you get stop out because uh, you put your stop loss here. Okay, and it's right to, be, get, to get out of trade when you're wrong. Okay, so I'm not asking you to not have a stop loss. Okay, or not put in, you know, uh, not, not limit your losses. I'm not saying that. But what I'm saying is that uh, you need to be, you know, cautious about this uh, movement, especially on Wednesday, okay? So no worries, I'll go into that uh, in greater detail, but let me carry on about this uh, pattern first, okay? So what happens is that they sell down, you get stop out, and after you get stop out, this is where the institutional players are actually buying, okay? They are, they are, they, they are accumulating, 
in their positions below um, what I call the fixed support. Okay, so uh, this, uh, let me just change the color first. Okay, this uh, orange zone is where they are actually accumulating their positions. That means that when you are getting out, they are getting in. Okay, so they are using your stop loss to fill their orders because they are, have a big order book, right? They are trying to buy big positions. They need to accumulate their position. They cannot just enter a big position uh, one shot. Okay, because you know, as retail traders, you know, you're probably trading one lot, two lots. But when you are institutional trader, you're not trading one, two lots. You're trading, you know, 500 lots, 1,000 lots. So you cannot just enter at one shot. So you need to accumulate the position and you need to find a good spot where people are willing to sell you, uh, you know, sell you or the, the currency that you want to buy at a particular price. Okay, so this is how they build their position. They build their position below the support or what is called the fake support. Okay, so this becomes the real support because this is where they're accumulating. And after that, what happens is that price start rallying and uh, you get frustrated because number one, uh, you did not, you, you you lost money. Number two, you miss out on this trend. Okay, and the thing is, uh, this thing happens over and over and over again. Okay. Now, the, the opposite is also true. People who saw this break, this, this swing low being taken out, uh, what they do is uh, they do a sell, they do a sell order, okay? For breakout traders, what happens is they do something like this, you know, they, they put their stop loss above the recent high and they start selling, thinking that, okay, this swing low is broken, so I want to do a breakout trade and, you know, they are targeting much uh, lower. But what happens is that uh, they get stopped out as well. Okay, that is why it's so frustrating because whether you buy or you sell, you lose money. Okay, because you do not understand this concept. So this pattern is something that you really want to study. Okay, so when does this pattern happen? Okay, this is the most important part of this video. When does this happen? Okay, this usually happens at about Wednesday, on Wednesday. And that's why we coin it a whipsaw Wednesday, where price sells down in one direction or sells uh, or you know goes up in the direction and then reverses okay so basically the essence of it is that during the euro session it goes one direction and during the u.s session it goes another direction okay so maybe i just write it down okay so whipsaw wednesday is uh euro session goes one way reverses and goes the other way Okay, so this is the whole uh, pattern, okay? This is the whole uh, explanation, okay? And it always happens during Wednesday, okay? Most of the time, it happens like that in one, in one form of, or another, okay? I prepared uh, four charts that we'll look at. So today is actually 23rd of July. Uh, that's a Thursday, and this Whipsaw Wednesday just happened. Okay, and that's why I'm recording this video today because it just happened and uh, you probably, uh, you know, just experience it and uh, there, there are a lot of examples in the charts. So I want to show it to you, right, and uh, show you how, you know, how the institutional players are actually manipulating the market and uh, causing you to lose money, okay? So before I go into the examples, just take note that this happens on Wednesday, okay? This doesn't happen on every single day. Okay, uh, most of the time it happens on Wednesday and uh, it happens during the Euro and the US session, okay? So once I show you the, uh, the, the examples, okay, I have four examples for you, then I'll, I'll come back to this uh, pattern and show you uh, how to trade it, okay? Okay, so the first pair I want to look at is uh, pound dollar, okay? So as you can see over here, uh, I have something called the uh, sessions indicator, okay? Uh, it's a free indicator uh, if you want, to use this indicator, just click at uh, here, indicators and strategies. Uh, go for this one. It called Sessions, okay, by uh, JRFX Edit. Okay, it's a free indicator. So what this tells you is uh, they just map out the different trading sessions. Okay, so right now it's uh, actually 7 a.m. So it's at my place. So it's the uh, Asia session. So this um, kind of like purple, Purple zone is actually the Asia session. Uh, this green is the Euro session. Uh, this is the crossover between the Euro and the US session. And this is just the US session alone. Okay, so that's how you read it. Okay, so uh, today is the 23rd. So yesterday is Wednesday. So yesterday, um, the market traded like this. Okay, this, 
this was the trading range for um, yesterday. Okay, so what happened? Let's look at it. Okay, so you can see here that uh, during the euro session, you had a very nice sell down. And what happens when it comes to US, it starts buying up. Okay, so reference back to this pattern, it's the same thing. Okay, you have the sell down and then you have the buy up. Okay, so what happens is that if, you, depending on where you put your stop loss, some people put their stop loss over here because this is the recent low. Okay, um, then you will have gotten stop out. So this is a perfect example of this, okay? Because uh, you have this level here, which a lot of people put their stop losses, okay? So uh, according to this pattern that I just shared with you, this Forex master pattern, um, price starts selling down, okay? You can see very clearly Euro sells down and uh, uh, US starts uh, sell, uh, buying it up, okay? So this is almost a perfect example, okay? Of course, uh, this level is not as easy to find. It's, it's, you may have missed this level, um, but the essence of uh, what I'm sharing with you today is true, okay? Uh, Europe selling down, uh, US buying it up, okay? So whether you buy or sell, you're going to lose money if uh, you, you do not... Uh, take note of this pattern, okay? So this is the first one. Now let's look at the second one. Uh, this is uh, pound yen, okay? Same thing. Uh, this was the Asia session. This is the uh, Europe session and this is the uh, US session. So same thing. Uh, what happened was that Europe started selling down first. So uh, he, this one is very obvious because uh, you have a zone of uh, swing lows here. You have support here, okay? All these are support, right? I mean, it's very clear, this support, support, support. Uh, price broke down, okay? Price broke down. And uh, after that, on the US session, it starts going up again, okay? So if you refer back to this pattern, it's the same thing again, okay? Uh, the Euro session sells down, the US session buys up, okay? So uh, this is just for the buying pattern, okay? This is just uh, assuming that uh, this is a bullish setup. Uh, the bearish setup is the opposite, okay? So in a bearish setup, uh, you know, the euro session will buy it up and then the US session will sell it down, okay? So this doesn't just work for the, uh, the bullish setup, but as well as the uh, bearish setup, okay? It's just the same thing, okay? I won't go through the same exact thing. Okay, now let's look at Aussie dollar, then uh, we'll look at uh, Kiwi dollar and then uh, we'll go back to how do you actually trade it or uh, how do you prevent uh, your losses, okay? So same thing, uh, you can see over here, uh, in this case, it's uh, slightly different from uh, pound, dollar, and pound yen, okay, because this one, you have this uh, Europe going one direction, Europe going up, and what happens when a, a US session started, it started selling back down, okay? So people who shorted somewhere here, as in, sorry, if they shorted somewhere here, okay, people who did this, let me just, okay, people who did something like this, uh, previously, they shorted here and they put their stop loss here. Uh, they will have gotten whipped out because uh, this is a stop hunt. Okay, so this is also another example. Okay, it doesn't follow uh, precisely what I drew, right? Because uh, it's it's uh, it's slightly different, but uh, nonetheless, the core idea is still the same. Uh, Europe session moves one way, and then the U.S. session totally uh, reverses it. Okay, so you have this movement down. Okay. Okay, let's go up to Kiwi dollar. Okay, so Kiwi dollar, same thing. Uh, Kiwi dollar and Aussie dollar is actually the same thing. Okay, you can see over here that uh, Europe uh, just buy it up. Okay, uh, there were a lot of stop losses above here. This swing high, correct? A lot of people see this engulfing, thinking that okay, uh, now it's time to go, uh, you know, short. They go short on this candle. They put the stop loss above, which is a very normal trade. That's a very uh, rookie trade because uh, a lot of trading. Uh, guides, you know, trading courses out there teach you to do this and that's why the institutional players know this and the institutional players make use of this kind of opportunities to whip you out of your position, okay? So you want to avoid uh, trading like this, okay? So you can see that the Europe session buys it up and then the uh, US session starts uh, selling it back down, okay? So this, this pattern happens very often, okay? So now let's go back to uh, this pattern and uh, let's talk about how do you avoid this, okay? Okay, uh, how do you avoid this is actually very simple. It's uh, easier than you think, okay? Uh, you want to avoid trading on Wednesday, 
okay, you want to tr avoid trading on Wednesdays, especially during the Euro session. Okay, that means uh, Wednesday, I, I don't know where you are, okay, where you are from, where you are watching this, but for me, uh, I'm in GMT plus 8. Okay, so uh, for me, the Europe session starts at 4 p.m. Uh, and the US session opens at 8 p.m. So for me, I will not trade on uh, Wednesday, uh, 4 p.m. Okay, because uh, ideally, I kind of expect that uh, this will happen and I do not, do not want to be part of the whipping process. Okay, so when would I trade instead? I would trade uh, once the US session is open, uh, preferably uh, when price comes above back the fixed support. Okay, so assuming in this case, a uh, price goes down. Okay, uh, let me see if I can draw it here. Okay, price goes down. Okay, um, okay, this doesn't work. Okay, so when price goes down, okay, I, I, I will wait for it. Okay, and if it's Wednesday, okay, here's the crucial thing, it must be Wednesday. Okay, this is called whipsaw Wednesday trade. So uh, it has to be on Wednesday. Okay, I wait for the whipping to happen over here. And when the whipping is done uh, during the US session, if I see some form of uh, candle closing above uh, what I call the fixed support, that's where I know that the whipping is done and I'm ready to go in, okay? That's where I go in and enter, okay? So uh, this is how you take advantage of this pattern, okay? You wait for the fake out, okay? You wait for the fake support to be broken uh, uh, downwards, then broken upwards. If you are buying, okay, if you are selling, it's the opposite. You wait for it to be broken um, upwards, then wait for it to be broken downwards, okay? It's the same, okay? So in this case over here, um, this one, it's, it's a bit tougher, okay? Uh, this over here, I would have entered probably somewhere here, okay? Because this was the uh, zone, uh, this was the so-called the fixed support, or okay? Or I could also consider this as a fixed support as well, okay? This one, okay? Uh, I would just enter somewhere here, okay? To be safe, I would enter somewhere here uh, during the US session, okay? Because I, I consider this as kind of like a fixed support, so it starts selling down. Okay, you can see that uh, this, this level here, uh, if you look left, you can see that there's some more structure, 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 break, above. Okay, so I will wait for the US session and then I'll look for a, a break back above the level before I take a trade. Okay, so in a case of a pound yen, um, this one is much clearer, okay, because this was the support. Uh, in this case, uh, I will enter somewhere here. Okay, when price was trading above this zone. So after this uh, fake out has happened over here. Okay, this is the fake out. After the fake out, uh, this is the fake support. This is the real support. Okay, so as I said, uh, if you want to avoid being whipped out, avoid trading during the uh, Europe session. Okay, you have avoided this loss, uh, whether you buy or sell. Because if you sell, uh, you probably will put your stop loss above this high or even this high. Uh, doesn't matter because ultimately you will still have lost money. Okay, if you buy and you know you bought somewhere here and uh, you didn't have your stop loss wide enough, you will have lost money as well. Okay, so this is how you avoid it and this is how you trade it. Okay, in the case of Aussie, um, I wouldn't have traded this, okay, because uh, this was kind of like counter trend. Okay, so what I've given you is just the essence of the pattern. Okay, this doesn't negate, uh, you know, basic things such as how to identify the market condition. So like in the case of Aussie dollar, where we where we are in an uptrend, uh, I won't be keen to do a counter trend trade, okay? So you still need to uh, do your own analysis about the market trend, okay, uh, the market condition, right? Just um, do not just uh, use this pattern and trade, uh, trade it blindly, okay? If you need a full day trading strategy, right, uh, our team has put together a day trading guide, the link is in the description, just check that out, okay? You can use that trading strategy together with uh, this pattern over here. Okay, uh, in fact, on my YouTube channel over here, I have a lot of videos. Okay, I teach you a lot of things. Okay, make sure you hit the subscribe button if you have not, right? If you're new to this channel, you can see that uh, we do a lot of videos like this uh, to give you value to help you become a better trader. So definitely check out the other videos. Okay, uh, please do not just use this, uh, you know, whipsaw when I stay trade blindly. Please understand what I'm trying to say, the context, right? Uh, even if you do not trade this way, okay, uh, just try to understand that uh, you shouldn't be trading during the Euro session on Wednesday. You want to wait for um, the US session to kick in and then you look for trades after that, okay? Because that will save you a lot of money. 
okay so if i cannot help you to make money right if let's say my videos uh, do not teach you a thing about making money in terms of how to find the best setups then i think the least i could do for you is to help you reduce your losses okay because trading is about um, maximizing your gains as well as uh, minimizing your losses and if this video helps you to minimize your loss then i think that uh, i've done my job okay i helped you and uh, hopefully uh, it will help you uh, become a profitable trader okay so thanks for watching that's it for this video if you have any questions just leave a comment down below and i'll do my best to address it okay so if not i'll see you in the next video